Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon and never miss an update from latest leak. While you were inside inside the house, mm. another drama was happening outside of it. I'm talking about the way the Me Too movement is yeah. getting getting progressed, the way it, so many women are coming up and you know voicing their opinion mm. and their experiences as well. Mm. How do you see? Have you read about it? Have you do you know no, what is I happening? was aware of the Me Too moment when it happened internationally yeah. and I think internationally it was handled in a very interesting way uh, because uh, there was um, uh, legally things mm. were taken under charge uh, there was a panel uh, who you know was really working it out and uh, the accused I forgot the name of the man he's a comedian I forgot his name but a lot and a lot of women from different walks of life came and accused him mm. So all of a sudden everyone thought that if so many women are coming out then there's something that the man has gone done wrong mm. and I believe if I'm not mistaken he uh, was charged guilty mm. if I'm not mistaken about the last part. So um, uh, I'm happy that a Me Too moment has also come to India okay. and a lot of women are talking about it and it's great but I also want to know that I hope that all these women who are actually taking the chance or becoming gutsy enough to talk about what happened in their lives just does not become as a matter of discussion and nothing happens out of it. Yes, okay. If legally something can happen about it. So do you feel that India may scene is different? Bollywood ka masla hi kuch aur hai. Do you feel that the scene is completely different here? Uh, only if uh, nothing happens out of this uh, Me Too moment. Right. If, um, uh, if the accused are still roaming around right. uh, doing what they used to do then what was the whole point? Correct. Because uh, I think for a woman, it's it's um, very difficult to show this part of you and not getting her justice. Yeah, honestly speaking, many people feel that because these stigmas are associated with the, with the entertainment industry, mm. the entertainment industry itself is bad, which is not the case. Uh, thankfully, mercifully, because these people are big people and big names are involved, you can see this all these discussions are coming in mainstream also. General people are discussing this. So yeah. that's the positive aspect. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, well, one thing which is, uh, one thing which can definitely come out of uh, the Me Too moment, if not legally getting justice to all these uh, people who were, um, you know, um, been through the experience, the sad experience. I think if we can also comfortably talk about, or like you very rightly said, the stigma part comes out of it. And I feel if any if any girl, whether from the industry, not from the industry, can talk to her parents in a dining room discussion, you know what, mom, this is what happened to me. Too. Have you seen it anywhere in the Marathi industry, if not personally experienced it at all? No one talks about it. It's there. I'm sure there's there. Have you, have you, have you observed it? And if you have, what necessary step have you taken? You know, it becomes so difficult to, uh, like I remember right outside my lane, I saw um, a couple, a mm. uh, youngster couple. Uh, the man was just hitting the woman because uh, they had some lover's mm. argument. And I just tried to stop it. Mm. And uh, the kind of reaction that you got, that mm. I got, like, aapko kya karna hai, boss? Mm. it's not your thing. And I was like, dude, you want to shout, you want to yell, you want to do whatever you do, but do not raise your hand. Yes. And the woman said, ma'am, ma, please jai apna kaam. So the person you were trying to help, <laughs> she herself is like backing out. And I just felt, um, okay, maybe next time I'm not opening my mouth. Right. But so, what step would you take as, as a leading actress from Marathi film industry? Would you be concerned about all these issues? Would you take necessary actions or step, get together, perhaps make a group and let the discussion roll? No, I think... I know one thing, if someone will ask for my help, mm. I will go all out. Mm. But I do not want to do or repeat the mistake of helping someone who doesn't need my help. Right. Because I just felt, I don't want to, um, um, what you say, uh, this whatever concern I have, I don't want to kill that concern. Right. Uh, so I'm going to safeguard my concern by using it for the person who really needs it. Correct. Let me put it this way. Correct. So many aspiring actors, so many models also, you know, trickle into the industry every year. Do mm. you have advice for them considering the mahal that we have? Consider the moment that the way it is shaping up? A, I feel that today's generation is really smart. Mm. It's not the generation <laughs> that we used to be. Correct. And uh, this generation, 
is pretty aware of the consequences. See, there were times in our generation where probably we were not aware of the consequences. Right. Uh, but this generation is pretty much smart. I think it's very important that you learn to trust the right kind of people. And the reason why I restrict myself from moving out is because I trust people very easily. Yeah. And this has happened in my teens that no such thing. But I have always landed up trusting wrong kind of people mm. and then um, somewhere my expectations didn't meet and my heart has been broken way too many times. Right. That is the reason probably I am so guarded and I am so close in today's times that I know that by the grace of God, is rate se to no one can target me. <laughs> A lot of makers are like, uh, in Marathi industry especially, when I actually landed up being friends with them, they told me that Neha, I don't think I would have spoken to you had you not come and said the first hi. Ah. <laughs> So, as a as a as an actress, I think it's very important that I have to be approachable. But because so you suddenly become a person who is like high demanding. Say her high first, then only I'll react. Um, <laughs> Invariably. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, but I guess I, I guess that's also fine. That also yeah. guards me. So probably Correct. only those people will talk to me with whom I want to talk to. <laughs> so I guess that works. I'm glad you're talking to us, and I'm <laughs> glad that you're toughened up by the experience of Big Boss. That will help you in the long run as well. Absolutely. Yeah, all the best. But what is so next much. on your platter? Uh, I really don't know because till the time the season doesn't end, I yeah. don't think I want to take up any other work. Correct. So once the season ends is when I will actually decide what I want to do. Okay. Thanks a lot for talking to us. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. <laughs>